हेलो नारायण आई सी यू डिसअपॉइंटेड आई ऑल्सो सॉ नाकामोर आर डिसअपॉइंटेड सो इफ यू कैन टेल अस दैट व्हाट हैपेंड इन द गेम बिकॉज एट वन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इट वाज जस्ट लुकिंग दैट यू वेर क्रूजिंग एंड यू वेर इन कंप्लीट कंट्रोल ऑफ द पोजिशन सो इट वॉज लाइक आई डेंट आई एक्सपेक्टेड हिम टू प्ले सम वाइल्ड ओपनिंग बिकॉज इफ ई विन्स ही कैन ऑल्सो फाइट फॉर द फर्स्ट प्राइज सो आई डेंट प्रिपेयर मच I checked some Kings Indian which he played and so on, and I was prepared there. And okay, he surprised me with what my first round opponent played uh, in this Queens Indian same line, and and there he okay he chose to stay solid with this Bishop E4, Bishop E7 repetition, where I had to decide like to take a draw in five minutes or just keep the play. So I thought, okay, I mean, doesn't matter. Even if I lose, I don't mind. Yeah, he's such a strong player. So making a draw like this with white pieces, it's not nice. So I just played the um, played some kind of side preparation I had, uh, which he didn't know apparently, and he played this move d5. After that, knight e5, c6, knight c3. Okay, here I was considering queen b8 a lot. Uh, with ideas like then I was planning to play rook a7. Uh, I think like knight e5, d e5, knight d7, c d c d e4. Mm, d4 was strong, I thought, but knight b5 also I saw here. I thought yeah, some 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 moves should be here and I should be pleasant. Like it felt like his pieces were so passive. So, but still I had to calculate all this and um, then he played a bit strangely, I should say. This knight b8 was very unnatural and. I entered this sli slightly better position where I saw this queen f5, but I think um, if I maintain the tension with a3 bishop f3 h4 like plans, he doesn't have a proper plan, so he he's a bit tied down as such. Uh, that's what one line we were discussing, and but okay, he also thought what I played was pretty challenging for him. So when I played this queen f5, I thought rook c7 was strong for him. But he played. He surprised me with the rook d8, and I think this position is so. I mean, I also understood it should be very bad. Uh, especially he, uh, he said like he missed this h4 idea, and, and then at some point I was pretty sh okay. I'm oh, first of all I I played this knight. I, I think knight. I felt like he was missing a lot, but still knight e3, rook d8. This position I played this h5 very fast. Mm -hmm. I think this was. Mm, Like I should play, like after the game, Manish was coming as well and saying like Queen C2, according to the computer, was just huge win, like huge plus. So I saw Queen C2, but what I missed was if he goes Queen D7. Um, I think now, okay, we were discussing this position with Ikaru, and I think now it is H5, F5, Knight G2. Rook c8, queen b3. Like whenever he goes knight c6, some queen a4 is there. Take take knight c6, queen a4. So, so yeah, this I should have played. But what I missed was knight c6 when he plays. I thought I I I, I can play h6. Then I missed like knight e7 because if he goes g6, queen d5, queen d5, knight d5, rook d5, rook into c6. I'm just clearly winning in this double rook and game pawn up. So h6, knight e7 I missed. Queen g4. I was planning to play, but g6. I think here he is more or less solid. Uh, my pawn is on h6, maybe a bit unpleasant, but I, I, I didn't feel like so much for him. Already his knight is back in the game, so still I, th I think I maneuvered quite well. And uh, and when I played this, when I exchanged this knight and I played this queen a3, I completely forgot like he, he can go queen c8, which is very strong, with ideas like queen c2 and so on. There I was a bit disappointed because I played. I understood like it should be better for me if it like I was trying to cross this 40 move a bit fast. Mm -hmm. So I thought one time I repeat, but then realized yes, queen c2 and it's not easy. So so that portion I think okay again we were discussing and we think like optimally I have to time this f4 break and I should be winning. But yeah, we we couldn't see clearly already before it was much easier with this queen c2. So all uh, yeah, so it was interesting game, but I sh I mean also I'm I'm playing him first time in the classical, so so n I think if I had some experience playing him before and so on, I would have clearly converted this. So oh, obviously I played him many times online. It's blitz and 
you cannot compare blitz just to classical it's two diff like two different sports only so yeah i mean it was a tough game what to do i mean he's not an easy opponent he's 27 80 something uh, very resilient so so in hindsight i should have won but n not easy i mean i had to improve more to win against i mean i had to first of all play a lot against these players which i am not even i mean close to getting so many opportunities so so i think yeah if i get to play them in some strong events once a while i mean it would be nice and yeah for that i had to increase my rating first of all and yeah for that i mean i'm considering like playing in strong round robins but yeah if something like this comes and i can increase rating i could yeah, i could get to play them it would be wonderful i mean i can i can play some good games like this a uh, really commendable performance i understand that you are a little disappointed with this uh, result but uh, 7 out of 9 in such a strong oh it's 6 and a half sorry yeah 6 and a half in such a strong tournament uh, where we have seen some very very uh, strong results uh, how do you like what is the key takeaway from this tournament for you so this is such a as i said such a strong event so so i mean how to, what can i say like for me, I didn't care so much about the results, but towards the end, yes, I mean, I had like uh, so many good opportunities against Sindaro, against, uh, against, okay, Hikaru, which I didn't expect, of course. I thought game would be like my, before the game, my preparation was like, if he is, uh, if he tries to be solid, okay, a draw is not a bad result, yeah. But once I got the position, I was like, anyhow, I should win. So yeah, I have to go back and improve on these things like playing against these guys. It's difficult to win winning games. So I have to improve on this area and I think I can pump up my rating a bit. But such a solid performance, which game would you consider as, the, as your favorite game from the tournament? So many of my friends messaged me in, after the game against Gugesh, which was like super exciting from spectator's point of view. Like until the very last moment it's not clear yeah if i messed it up or i'm winning and other than that okay i think in general the quality of my play was quite high i didn't like uh, i didn't get into so many bad po i don't know i mean uh, not many bad position again sabdu satra yes it was like uh, i missed some details but other than that i was calculating well and playing well i think just like Winning positions, I have to win. That's my next goal. Yeah. Congratulations on the performance. We love to watch you play, and uh, all the very best for the next tournaments that you are going to play. Yeah, thank you. I'll play next Fide Grand Swiss. Thanks. Bye.